are returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know about the thumbnail, this video is going to be two part. It's going to be me talking about um, a particular bag and then my experience with ordering online from Michael Kors. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, I'll have timestamps below so you can just kind of skip to the part you want. But I'm gonna start off with the good part because I always like to eat my dessert first. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this bag. This is the Michael Kors Small Emboss Patent. Um, what else is it? Small, okay. So yeah, this is the Michael Kors Grayson Small Logo Patent Emboss Duffel Bag. I believe that's the name that's listed on the website. When you go other places, sometimes they tend to name them other things, but this is it. This is, this is she, she's so gorgeous. And I've been eyeballing this particular bag for a while. As you know, I think this is like a re-release because years ago they had a very similar bag bag uh, but um, the difference between those and this one it seems as though he uh, left out a lot of the functionality of it I think or or should I say um, characteristics or styles but I can't think of the correct word right now but like for example on the bigger bag it had a buckle um, right here like it had a little buckle where you could I don't know if it was if you could actually adjust it or if it was just uh, the style of the bag and it had that and it had pockets. Uh, it was just uh, different things. As you know, he, he tends to, or they, to, whoever's running the company, they tend to just kind of switch up the styles on the re-release. But anyway, love this bag. I picked it up from the local boutique and I told you all that I like to order uh, my bags gift wrap so I can get a box just in case I ever want to sell it in the future. But let me show you this box. So isn't this gorgeous? This is my first time seeing a black and gold box, but it's just like the other box that I showed you all in the other um, video. Really, really pretty. I love it. All right, so like I said, I ordered it online and I picked it up in the boutique in my local mall. As you all know, this purse is on sale. And if I'm not mistaken, um, Michael Kors is running a sale now as we speak, you know, like this moment in time. <laughs> By the time this video gets to you, I'm not sure if it'll still be on sale, but I'll put a link down below just in case you want to check it out. And again, always check around when you're purchasing the purses. Even go to TJ Maxx, you know, just, just check around before you spend top dollar. And I know y'all are getting tired of me saying that, but I just want to put that out there. Also, this bag comes in gold, silver, rose gold, and black. And it also comes in, um, they have like a new print now. I'll try to put it, a picture of it somewhere on the screen so you can check it out, of uh, the different styles uh, that this particular bag can come in. The rose gold to me is to die for. I didn't see the rose gold in the mini bag like this, but I'm going to really uh, watch Macy's closely and see if they drop it even low lower than what they have it on now because the, that rose gold is gorgeous so you know you don't have to you don't have to get gold there are other colors and there's lots of reviews online I'm sure as you know with people with other colors um, in this particular bag but I think the purse is really cute it's very lightweight of course it's not heavy because it's so tiny and as far as the amount of stuff that you can fit in it I have a Samsung Note 20 and it can fit in there. So it can basically fit your essentials, like your phone, a compact, the little pack of napkin, uh, tissue paper that you could buy, some hand sanitizer, some lipstick, credit cards, things like that. It can fit that. And I think that you can easily, you know, dress this up or down, you know, with straps, easy on the go. And then, you know, when you get ready to go out, you can just kind of carry it, you know, like such. Uh, by the top handle for a more, you know, feminine, you know, cute look. I don't know, that's just my opinion on it, but and the gold, again, I I love I love gold. I think one of the other one is right there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I really love gold. I think the gold goes with a lot of things. It's just like with gold jewelry. I think that, you know, you can dress it either or not. But I would say definitely don't be afraid to go with gold purses. You know, it's funny because a lot of times when I see people, you know, they'll do videos and they'll look at the gold purse. I'm like, oh, I don't like that. And I'm thinking it's so, so cute. It's so, so cute. But anyway, I think that's, oh, I know what I want to tell you all. As far as the fingerprints, the fingerprints, you can see them, but it's not 
it's not really, really bad. Just make sure your hands are or your fingertips are totally stripped of lotions or oils and stuff like that, and you should be fine. And if not, you can always take a, a soft, dry cloth and rub it down, and you'll be set. But I think this is so adorable. All of the hardware is cute on it, and it's pretty much standard. Um, I even like the way that it has feet at the bottom. You get a little strap, but I'm gonna, the next thing I'm going to show you up close so you can see everything it is to see about this bag. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to go on with the remaining of the video. I'll show you some uh, up close shots of this and I'll compare it to another bag and then I'll let you see how it looks on my body frame. And then the very end of the video, stay tuned so you can know about this horrible experience that I have with Michael Kors, all right? So don't forget to let me know if you like this bag, if you plan on getting this bag, if you don't like this bag, if you could care less, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, which is don't forget to continue watching. It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why are you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me When I need you most We got love guaranteed And I have to know Say Reservations, too many invitations, and the last night was heavy. I need communication. All right, so I just want to tell you all about my experience with purchasing the Grayson medium duffel bag. It would be this bag right here, this one. Okay, so right off the bat, what do you notice about this bag? <laughs> it's missing the charm. Okay, it came without the charm. You see how this one has a little charm right there? It came without the charm. Also, it came um, dirty. Um, it looked, it was glue or something all over it. It was dirty. It looked like somebody was eating cookies or, and crackers or some cookies and cream, ice cream, and not wiping their hands and then they were handling the bag. Uh, the feet were scratched up. Um, the bag was, all of the tissue was gone. There was no stuffing on the inside of the bag. It was thrown in a plastic bag. I'll try to show you a picture. And that's the way I received it. Um, typically, when I order from Michael Kors and it comes, and I don't pick it up at the boutique, it comes to the house, it's wrapped to perfection. The, all of the tissue paper is attached, everything. This one came dirty and used. And then when I called them about it, they was like, oh well, that as if that's normal and to send it back. So that tells me that when this bag gets back to them, they're gonna send it to somebody else. Cause that's what they did to me, is send a used bag. So in the future, what I'm probably gonna have to do is order um, order online and you know, pick it up at the store. But if they don't have it at the store, I'm gonna order it and then have it delivered to the store. And then if it's not wrapped appropriately, if it's given, you know, if, if they try to give it to me dirty, I'll refuse to take it. And I'll uh, call my credit card company and tell them to remove the charges. But I'm letting you all know to be very careful when ordering through Michael Kors. And I know you're like, oh my God, you know, she's tripping. No, I mean, I let me tell you, if I were you and I was watching somebody talking about their experience with a particular company. I don't care if it happened one time. I want to know about it. So at least I can be prepared. Okay, I know that this company is, it, they, they will do this. I also ordered the wallet 
right here came dirty. No wrapping, all of the paper, everything. It's like it's used. So, and it, the feet are like super scratched. You know, it's just, I could tell that somebody took the purse, wore it for a while, and then sent it back. And then, anyway, <laughs> that's my experience. So now I have to go through the trouble of sending this purse back. I gotta go through the trouble of waiting to get my credit back on my credit. You know, it's just a big hassle. So, buyer beware.